Hello everyone. I'm Sanjukta Das Gupta, Professor, Department of English, Calcutta University. I have retired now. I write poetry occasionally and also do some other critical writing as well. As a tribute to Shakespeare, I am going to read certain excerpts from one of his earliest uh, narrative poems. This was published in 1594, The Rape of Lucrece. As a feminist critic, I find this particular long poem of more than 1800 lines as a very fascinating uh, patriarchal uh, declaration of a seducer's plea. I will only read a very short section from the poem. Desire my pilot is, beauty my prize, then who fears sinking where such treasure lies? Into the chamber wickedly he stalks, and gazeth on her yet unstained bed. The curtains being close, about he walks, rolling his greedy eyeballs in his head. By their high treason is his heart misled, which gives the watchword to his hand full soon, to draw the cloud that hides the silver moon. Thus I forestall thee, if thou mean to chide, thy beauty hath ensnared thee to this night where thou with patience must my will abide, my will that marks thee for my earth's delight, which I to conquer sought with all my might, but as reproof and reason be to dead, by thy bright beauty was it newly bred. Lucrece, quoth he, this night I must enjoy thee, if thou deny, then force must work my way, for in thy bed I purpose to destroy thee. That done, some worthless slave of thine I'll slay, to kill thine honour with thy life's decay, and in thy dead arms do I mean to place him, swearing I slew him, seeing thee embrace him. So thy surviving husband shall remain the scornful mark of every open eye. Thy kinsmen hang their heads at this disdain. Thy issue blurred with nameless bastardy. And thou, the author of their obliquy, shalt have thy trespass cited up in rhymes and sung by children in succeeding times. If thou yield, I rest thy secret friend. The fault unknown is as a thought unacted. A little harm done to a great good end, for lawful policy remains enacted. The poisonous simple sometimes is compacted in a pure compound. Being so applied, his venom in effect is purified then for thy husband and thy children's sake tender my suit bequeath not to their lot the shame that from them no device can take the blemish that will never be forgot worse than a slavish wife or birth hours blot for marks descried in men's nativity are nature's faults not their own infamy Thank you so much.